Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is execute console command? Let me run through this example. Let me set it up first. I'm going to pull up my frames per second so we can see it in the top right corner. And you're going to see it's locked to 60. Now if I was to go into my console here and type in t.maxfps120, well now you notice it's going to change to 120. And of course I have a bunch of different console commands I can execute. But sometimes you may want to actually do that while the game's running and not have the player do it, such as changing the FPS, changing something like the resolution, and things like that. Maybe even executing commands such as connecting to other multiplayer, multi, players in multiplayer. There we go. So when I hit the execute button, you're going to see this change from my 120 cap to 60. Because I'm using the execute console command node. So let's look at it. And it's super specific. Super simple. The execute console command takes in a command. This is going to be a string, just like if you're typing it into the command console and a specific player controller reference on who it should be executed on. So this is useful in multiplayer and things like that. By default, if you leave it like this, for single player, it's going to execute on the local machine. So for the commands, there are hundreds of them. Let me show you that. By using the tilde key on a US keyboard, that's a little wiggly line, and I don't know what it is on European keyboards and such. I am sorry. And then pressing it more than once, you'll bring up your console. If I'm actually inside my game, let's say we're playing, and I do it, oh, there we go, twice, you can actually see the console come up full screen inside the game. Now, any of the commands you can type in the console, you can use the execute console command node to run. So in this case, I'm doing t.maxfps 60 and locking the frames per second to 60. But I could just as easily do something like the r.setres. And bear with me because I don't remember this one half the time. Let's go with something small like 800 by 600. Now I believe this will change the resolution of the game while I'm playing it. I know I need to play a new editor window. Let's hit execute. And there we go. We've changed from whatever size I had it. Let's say something like that. And I hit execute. Of course I have made it different sizes now. And you'll see it's now a different size. I don't exactly know why it doesn't work. Sometimes like this, it's probably due to me scaling it and resizing it manually. I'm also not doing an F and a W, and there's just a whole bunch of options here. But pretty much the same thing I did when I executed by console command by typing in with the tilde key, I executed on here. Now in terms of the console commands, let's go back here. And you can actually run something called dump console commands. Here we go. And you'll find dump console commands. If we hit enter, it's going to look like nothing happened. But if we go to our output log, you'll actually find every single console command in alphabetical order. And like I said, there are hundreds of them that can be used. Now, most of these have been explained on the internet. If you just Google search, you can probably find most of these commands. But a few of the useful ones are things like the set resolution for setting the resolution, things like some net listening enabled, some demo recording things. Things like stat unit and FPS. If you want, for example, to make some debug commands, some of the common ones would be like stat unit to give you back some frame rate, game draw time, and GPU milliseconds. Stat FPS is what I drew up earlier, which gives me the frames per second and the millisecond time per frame. T.max FPS. If I type it in properly, there you go. can set your upper limit on the frame per second. For example, I could set it to 300. And now it's going to run up to 300 because that's my max FPS. And as you can see, now I'm getting like 180 or so. You can also really annoyingly... Did I not do it? There we go. Set to something super low like 10 and just annoy the heck out of anyone looking at the screen. Keep in mind, when you execute the console command while the game is running... It will affect it after the game is running. Keep in mind, this is executing a console command. It affects the game. It also affects the editor. So if I run this command while I'm inside of the editor and I'm in the game, when I get out of the game, it's still going to have the same frames per second, for example, or the stat unit or whatever I've changed. So keep that in mind. It's not just a temporary thing. This is something that's changing the engine itself as a console command. And that is pretty much going to wrap up the node. Just type in your command. 
typing your specific player. Spaces are fine. You don't need to use quotes or anything like that. So like for example, when I did the r.setres, I did space, and then I would do 1280 by 1024. I have no idea if they, there we go. And the space is perfectly fine. You don't need to encapsulate it in quotes or anything like that.